story of how Deb and I bought a hoarder house. Not sure of any of the details yet, but we knew that we wanted to move south, no farther than Tennessee. We sold our storefront, our rental, our primary house, and had one rental left. About I have gotten tons of questions about this shirt. It's a sweat. It's actually sweater material. Well, it's kind of in between. It's like a sweater and a sweatshirt. It comes in lots of This is our jewelry cabinet. We got these two doors at a flea market years ago with the slag glass in it. And the other door we made into a cabinet exactly like this for our tiny house, which which uh, held like all of our hair supplies in the bathroom. And that one only had shelves. So this one, I designed it to where I wanted all of my necklaces up here. And then these are earrings and bracelets in here and then perfume here. I actually want to find a really cool door and make a bigger one, like a longer one, so I can spread things out a little bit more. I get this question every time I show this entryway. And this is the funny thing is I looked at the um, plans of our house a million times and I did not notice this. So today I just said, Deb, do we ask Deb, do we still have our plans? Because I want to see what this looked like because I don't remember this. And this was not in the design. And today is the first day that I'm realizing that. Just found our original plans and this is what it looked like. So here, is the stairway. The door was supposed to be all the way back here. So on step one, two, three, actually about at the beginning of step five. So that would have been about back to here. So there you have it. It was not on the original plans, but this is what we have. I'm assuming you're talking about these. These were the legs of an antique pool table that we found on the marketplace. Um, if you just think about it flipped upside down, this was the part that sat on the floor. This was the part that held the top. And then Deb made these into night lights for me. These here in the kitchen. I do have other ones that we found a totally different time as lamps in the living room, which I'll put a post to that here if you want to read about them. getting ready to record for the Easter dress options that I have. I shouldn't say Easter dress. I should say spring dresses. Um, I got this one this week along with a couple other colors in this same um, version. They are so cute. Like I would truly wear this around the house because it's not like dress. It's just perfect for a casual day. Um, I won't be wearing this today, however, it was snowing a little bit ago. We're going to go see a friend who is in town, and um, then I will be posting this a little bit later, but I wanted to show you this. I mentioned my pony, that big long ponytail. Look, I don't know if you can see it. I 
I saw another creator share these dresses. She's tall, thin, and 20. I am none of those. Let's see what they look like on me. These come in lots of different colors, lots of different patterns. They have the ties here. Uh, they have an elastic sleeve. Okay, two things. We lost an hour today with the time change, and I, Deb and I both agree. It seems like we lost six hours. Like, it's 7.30. It seems like it should only be 3.30. What's going on? Number two, I just recorded this. So this is that fake ponytail. It's really long. I did not cut it, but I figured out how to um, put it in my hair. And I think I just recorded it. And I think it's really, really simple. I think I explained it really, really simple. So um, I'm going to edit that here in a little bit and then I'll post it. How to go from this to this. The easiest way that I have found to put this ponytail into my hair and make it look like a messy bun is hold all of your hair on top. 